calling all lovers of mystery and fans of a good story. If you haven't already heard me talk about June's journey, you're in for a treat. It's time to don your detective hat in this free hidden object mobile game that delves into the captivating journey of June Parker, a self-proclaimed detective on a quest to unravel the mystery surrounding her sister's untimely death. In June's journey, you get to play as June, deciphering clues and unveiling secret plots within thousands of beautifully illustrated scenes. And did I mention it's set in the glitzy 1920s? New chapters are added weekly, so you will never run out of new thrills to uncover, and you can also personalize and decorate your very own Orchid Island where the story takes place. How sharp are your detective skills? Find out when you download June's Journey on your Android or iOS device, or play online via Facebook games. Your detective journey awaits. Contained herein are the heresies of Radolf Burntwine erstwhile monk turned traveling medical investigator. Join me as I uncover the blasphemous truth of a plague-ridden world, that ours is not a loving God, and we are not its favored children. The Heresies of Radolf Buntwine, coming January 2nd, wherever podcasts are available. And now, listen to this on the Toddcast Podcast. When you hit your stride, the impact that you make is undeniable. Let's talk Godsmack for a sec. They've had an incredible career. Any band would be enviable. They've had three consecutive number one albums on the Billboard 200, 23 top 10 hits, 17 in the top five. They've sold over 20 million albums worldwide. It's Godsmack Day in Boston on August 6th. Fair to say they hit their stride years ago. And when singer Sully Erna was a guest, we talked about binge watching The Sopranos in Entourage. He shared the story of meeting Rush's Neil Peart. We got into superpowers, specifically his love of Deadpool and the movie Hancock. We talked about the documentary he's working on and being influenced by Aerosmith, Boston, and Zeppelin early on. And Sully talked about starting up the Scars Foundation to help raise awareness of mental health issues. Listen to this. You know, I wrote this song on the new record. It's the first time Godsmack ever attempted to put a song like this on a record. It's a straight-up epic ballad, like a Dream On slash November Rain style ballad. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, the inspiration behind it was just through an experience I had with someone who, you know, had a lot of baggage and scars and things that they were embarrassed about or made them feel insecure. And when things came up, they would be the kind of person that would push away rather than want to communicate and, you know, talk through it and just accept it as part of their flaws and things like that. And we all have them, you know, we all have these things we call scars, whether they're emotional or physical. Um, And then from there, you know, I was just thinking this could be a really great cause and I've always wanted to do something with a nonprofit. And so I developed um, uh, an organization called the Scars Foundation, which we just announced a couple of days ago. And it's a nonprofit that's going to help raise money on a global level Uh, We've partnered with multiple companies to help battle everything from depression to addiction, bullying, PTSD, suicide prevention, Um, you know, because I'm not sure how everyone feels about this, but for me, I was getting really sick and tired of losing a lot of important people in my life and, you know, hearing about these amazing artists that are just self-destructing everywhere through depression, whether they drink themselves to death or overdose or take their own lives and... Mm -hmm. You know, the Chris Cornell, Chester Bennington back-to-back, that I think had a pretty big effect on everyone in the music industry. And, um, you know, I just thought it was time to maybe do something a little bit more on my part or something I can do. So we're hoping that, you know, the Scars Foundation will not only raise money globally to help these experts do their jobs better, um, but also to be a voice, you know, and help strengthen people to help them understand that, you know, we all have these kind of imperfections and things that we feel insecure about or make us feel unworthy, but rather than stuff them down, you know, and, uh, and, and suffer in silence and keep them internal, you know, I want people to kind of represent their scars, you know, and show their scars proudly and, and tell their stories so it'll inspire other people to tell their stories. And I think that's how we're going to start making a difference is to get people to be vocal about it. Because unfortunately you know, amputees and people that have physical scars, it's easy to identify them and be able to reach out and help or offer help or have them go for help. But the depression thing's a tough one because it's a silent killer and you don't see it coming until it's too late. 
And so the only way to really get help with people and to try to pull them out of this darkness is to get them to be vocal about it. And once we know that this is something they struggle with, then, you know, we can do even more. So this really needs to be, you know, a worldwide effort. It needs to be a group effort for everybody, you know, to just take it upon themselves to be able to come forward and know that we understand and we care and, and we all have this. Like we all, me, my drummer, my bass player, like everybody that may, people may look up to, and I'm sure millions others that, you know, are in a celebrity status and people may think are untouchable or live this great life. We all struggle with these imperfections, but, um, you know, we just want to help people empower them and, and get them stronger so they can come up forward with it and, you know, and, and deal with it and then help others deal with it. Listen to this on the Toddcast podcast is brought to you by Tedco RV Supplies in Langley, an ICBC approved repair shop. Find them online at tedcorvsuppliesinc.com. Talmur, Sheshin Murachi. Talmur is my home. My family have worked the land for generations. My gran says the island does not belong to us, but we belong to the island. And we must be ready, for a great evil is coming. And death follows with it. Listen and subscribe to the latest season of Undertow, The Harrowing, a story glass production presented by Realm, available wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Jennifer, a founder of the Go Kid Go Network. At Go Kid Go, putting kids first is at the heart of every show that we produce. That's why we're so excited to introduce a brand new show to our network called The Search for the Silver Lining, a fantasy adventure series about a spirited young girl named Isla who time travels to the mythical land of Camelot. Look for The Search for the Silver Lining on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts.